Greetings and salutations from Reef Rod Aquatics. Uh, today's uh, topic of conversation is going to be snails. Uh, I know a lot of people out there, they hate them. Uh, they have a lot of misconceptions about them. There's a lot of myths out there that just aren't true. And today we're going to explore those myths and uh, try to encourage people to keep snails. Uh, they're a great cleanup crew member to your freshwater aquarium. Uh, they do a lot, even saltwater. Uh, saltwater guys, reef tank guys, we use astro snails, trochus snails, uh, starfish. We use everything to try to help us manage our systems and keep them looking good. And freshwater is no different. Um, so let's go ahead and explore myth number one. <clears throat> snails will overpopulate your tank. They'll just cover it up. Not true. Uh, snails will only grow to suit their environment. So if there's a lot of food in their environment, they will have a population explosion. If you've got a lot of algae, expect a population explosion. If you're overfeeding your tank and you're leaving a lot of food at the bottom of the system, expect a population explosion. That's what they do. Um, but the caveat is, is they're cleaning up. So if you did your job as an Aquarist, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. So how do you control their numbers? Proper maintenance, keep the nutrients down. Um, monitor your fish food feeding. You should be feeding your fish tank, depending on the species, on an average, I'd say you should be feeding your fish tank every other day, and you should be taking a dedicated, and I mean dedicated, three minutes dedicated to watching the fish eat. Sprinkle a little in, they'll probably hit it, they'll probably be ravenish about it. Uh, by the time you sprinkle in a second one, they're probably a little not hitting it as hard. Uh, by the time you put the third in there, they really haven't, um, you know, they're, they're kind of losing interest. Um, then you're done, okay? So be careful with your feeding and that won't allow them to overpopulate the tank. Um, myth number two, they eat live plants. No, they don't. There's only like a handful of snails on the planet that actually eat healthy vegetation uh, and they're not in our trade. Uh, they're not even on our continent. This is the UN, uh, United States. They're not even in North America to the best of my knowledge. Um, but again, there's only a handful of them. They don't. And how a lot of people get to this conclusion is they'll go out and buy plants at a big box store um, that are like, uh, they're, they're dry. They're in that little tiny gel stuff. Those plants were actually grown in air, and those leaves are meant to be in air. So when we submerge them in our in our in our fish tanks, what happens is the plant melts back those leaves that are worthless to it, and then it starts to grow its water leaves. Well, the snails will respond to that because those leaves are technically dead and dying. So uh, that sends off a signal to the snails; they'll come over, uh, eat up all of that material that the plant hasn't absorbed yet. Uh, handle all the melt back and then they're done once that plant starts growing water leaves snails aren't going to have anything to do with it that's good vegetation they won't eat it um so let's go ahead and talk about different types of uh good cleanup crew member snails uh, and i'm going to exclude the, the mystery and the apple snails because those are like ornamental um so you have your standard pond snail or bladder snail i don't like those uh, I'm not a big fan. I just, I just don't, I just don't like them. Go ahead and hit on me. Put some comments down there. Um, Ram's horn. That's my man right there. Uh, the best overall, all around, um, clean a crew member for freshwater aquariums. They eat everything. They eat algae. They eat leftover, uh, fish food. They eat fish poop, uh, so that it, the system can process it even further after the snails get done with it. They're just an awesome all around great snail to add to your aquarium uh the other one is the um malaysian pyramid snail um and rabbit uh snails those type they're nocturnal um and they stay in a substrate and they really do really do a great job at cleaning up the substrate they're not too big on algae um they are pretty big on leftover fish food and fish poop but they're not that big on algae and it's kind of difficult to keep like the ram's horns or the bladders with the Malaysians because basically the bladders and the ram's horns, they'll end up out competing them for food and then you'll watch their, their uh, numbers die uh, down. But that's it for uh, snails. Uh, leave the questions, comments below. Um, 
and uh, I'll get back to you. Be good. Have a great day.